I invited 10 people to compete at building the best iron farm in Minecraft in only 90 minutes. Whoever wins will get a $50 cash prize and bragging rights of having the best iron farm. All right, we're about to get things started here. I have everybody here ready to go. Round and round and round I go. Where I stop, nobody knows. I think you guys are going to go right over here. Go, 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 go. Everybody has gotten started. We got things going up already. These guys have an hour and a half, actually one hour and 29 minutes to get everything done. Oh, we got some glazed terracotta here. That's cool. I'm interested to see what Ace has up his sleeve. Pun intended. Ah, I got the spinny. The spinny carts of doom. Oh, we're going for speed of killing here with uh, Rosa. Look. All right, Rosa. Nexto's got the, got the spawning and stuff happening really quickly, which is going to give him plenty of time for all the cool extra goodies. Is this your kill system, Nexto? The using the sword to kill the golems method. Is this your idea of a killer? Because it didn't look very efficient to me. Oh, oh, so now you put the lava in. Are you sure you don't want to just use the sword? It's slow. Well, you know what, Nexto? I'm gonna leave you to it. Yeah. Okay, now we had Undertaker just show up late. The Undertaker himself, yes, from the WWE. All right, we got some like rainbow action going on over here. CMC, got a little rainbow going on. Oh, whoa. Look at JC, we got some cool stuff going on here. Oh, I'm loving this. See, this is what I wanted to see, everybody. I wanted to see ingenuity and creativity in design. Oh, look at Judah. Judah is going with like the interesting blocks. We got the potato block here, the beans block. I like that. Undertaker's gotten started over here. Oh, Undertaker, you are stealing my heart right now. We got that stripped dark oak log. This is the best block in the game, everybody. I'll see him see going with the rainbow beds too. Look at the dedication to the rainbow colors. I am loving it. I am all about this life. Now, what is happening here? Why is it all the way up, up here? Curtis, how are we doing over here? Uh, pretty good, sir. I'll let yourself. Pretty good. You know, I'm looking at this and this thing is very interesting. Can you tell me what we have going up here? Purely aesthetic? Or is there going to be some kind of additional function that's going to be coming in with all of the like this water and stuff? Well, I wasn't sure what kind of biome to do this over. So in my head, I was thinking an ocean. So you can kind of have a little bit of a squid farm. And then with the tinted glass, you can have mob spawn. Oh, okay, cool. Got it. Really place this over a raid tower. All right, I'm going to be looking for those things. I'm going to leave you to it, okay? All right, sounds good. Oh, we're back over here, JC, and I was right. We got a trading hall going in on this level. Interesting design. I'm liking. Oh, and that's where the beds are going. Oh, I like the black beds. It looks really good with this. Oh, poor Ace. It does look like we got the circle fixed, but Ace, you've burned 36 minutes already. I really hope you're able to pull it together. Oh, look at Moldy. We have not visited Moldy in a while. Oh, look at this. We got skulk blocks. Oh, they're looking mighty good. Looking mighty good. I like this cool little like boxed in thing. That looks really good. Moldy can build. Look at this. We got golems in here dying. We got zombies in here spawning. We got an enchanting table up top. Oh, no. We had water issues. JC, I did not see what happened here. Let me take a guess of what happened. You were putting in water sources and you put water in both the corners right by one of these little corners, didn't you? Yes. Um, <laughs> it both fail and it was a mess. JC, let me tell you, you got some cool looking stuff going on over here. This little trading hall area is mighty nice. I'm liking it. Do you have any other big plans that you have not started out yet? Or are we getting to the final phases of this? The design park is meant to be a pyramid. As soon as I finish the platform, I'm going to put the villagers and then just decorate. All right, I'm going to be keeping an eye on it. Everything's looking really good so far. Let's keep that water in line, though, OK? Yes, thanks. All right, we've had a fun time looking around and seeing how things are going. I think I would like to bring in our challenge. What we're going to do is we're going to make these guys incorporate something with all of their builds. All right, everybody, I'm adding in a challenge that you need to somehow incorporate in whatever way you want to into your builds. And that challenge has to do with the new 1.19 update frogs. OK, frogs is all I have to say. You interpret that however you like, but I want to see frogs. Oh, that's awful. <laughs> Have fun, everybody. A frog, frog here. Frog, frog there. Here, frog. There, frog. Everywhere, frog, frog. Moldy. How, how are things going over here, Moldy? If they wouldn't jump all over, it would be fantastic. But I think I maybe got them good enough. They're frogs. They're supposed to jump. What do you want them to do? I don't let them go, but just remember they were here. <laughs> Look, he <laughs> broke his lead. Now what? 
I broke it. Oh, okay, okay, okay. You know, you got a lot of frogs here. You really do. This seems a little dangerous too. What if they fall off the edge? I'm a little concerned about your frog welfare here. Rip. Okay, Moldy, I'm gonna leave you to it. I, I promise you that this is, this is fair and ethical treatment of frogs. They are 100% okay. Look, what is Undertaker doing? All right, let's see if we can get Undertaker in voice chat. Undertaker. Hello, hi. Undertaker, I, I like the design I'm seeing here. I, I I would be lying if I said I wasn't a little concerned. We, we're at 23 minutes and 45 seconds left. Are you going to be able to get it done? Probably not. I will try my best, but I overslept. You know where I'm living. It's in the middle of a night, but I have it not finished. This is a design that is a little bit made for making inside a cave. Yeah, okay. With a traveling hall and I have zombies that lure them. I will really do my best, I promise you. I'm loving the creativity and the originality here. Keep up the great work. I will do my best. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you, Undertaker. Oh, no. Ace, you may have the coolest looking floor, but you got 21 minutes and two seconds to finish this thing up. Let's pull Ace in the voice chat. Ace, hello. Hi. Let me level with you here. You probably have the coolest looking floor design that I've ever seen in my life. I'm going to admit, yes, I tried to make it a circle and I messed up so bad, but it's looking cool. I like it. It's looking good. I have a concern. We have 19 minutes and 45 seconds left. How are you feeling about your time? Bad. I kind of thought so. I'm going to leave you to it. You got a lot of work to do in a little bit of time, but you're you're 100 percent winning the coolest looking floor contest. Hands down. Excellent. <laughs> OK, I'm going to leave you to it. Oh, Vaughn, look at Vaughn. Oh, this is cool. I like this. Oh, this looks so good. You just sold me on frog lights right here. Oh, look at this. That's going to look so good. I'm so excited about this. <laughs> Are we trying to get brownie points right now? Oh, uh, no, we'll need to do, though. Uh, do any of this is filter. It's just you sub to prowl diamonds. Ah, <laughs> yes, we have sub to prowl diamonds. I'm going to pretend like I didn't see that. So that way it could be a surprise when they tell us about it. Looters working hard over here. A lot of function. Like everything is so compact. Oh, look at that. We got to fight. Fight, 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 fight. Three, two, one, and zero. All right, everybody. Was the crunch real there at the end for some of you? Oh my God, yes. Uh, I didn't finish. <laughs> Felt like 30 minutes. <laughs> Wait, me yeah. half an hour and I'll add a gold farm to it. Go separate to your farms now. Put a sign with your player name there too, just as like an official, like, hey, this is my farm. So let's take a look at Undertaker's farm first. Undertaker, I pulled you in the chat. Are you there? Yes. Come down below real quick, please. I see one problem that you had here with your farm. The golems, they're not detecting the zombies, are they? No, I should have used fence instead of walls well still this is a super cool design i like this it's very unique i've never seen something like this i'll let you know how you did okay yeah thank you very much thank you hey curtis so everything over here is looking good awesome design man thank you i appreciate it next we're over here to take a look at moldy so we got a cool little frog pond up here looks really awesome we got the enchanting table here we got the zombies in here spawning now, unfortunately it looks like we did kind of cheap out just to touch on the actual storage area this is definitely one of the coolest looking iron farms that i've seen looking good moldy looking good hey vaughn i got you in voice chat hello everything's looking good man i like it did you uh happen to see the frogs jumping around inside of the crop farm yeah i did <laughs> we got to keep the bugs from eating the plants that's good function oh, yeah. good function oh yeah all right dude awesome all right i'm gonna keep moving around but it's looking really good i like it all right, thank you. We got JC over here with the temple. So I think everything here looks good. Let's pull JC in chat real quick. All right, I was taking a look at everything. It all looks good. It's super cool. Yeah, the original farm is in the BMC server. Ah, okay. I'll have to take a look at it. So you just kind of redid that then, huh? Yeah, I changed a little bit of the interior. Yeah. And a uh, beacon. Awesome looking build here. Thank you very much. Thanks. All right, now we got Nextomancer over here, all done and ready to go. Hello. All right, we got some interesting things going on here. You definitely went the technical route. I like your um your your dangling frog balloons. We're gonna assume that this is not harmful to the frogs at all, okay? Uh, it's just fairly standard iron form. I see you went for some brownie points here. I see the subscribe sign up in the air. And also, don't think that I didn't notice, because I did. We've made our farm more efficient by using sub to prowl diamonds. 200% better. At 200, yes, exactly. So definite bonus points for efficiency gain with the sub to prowl diamonds. Awesome, man. Looks good. Well, thanks a lot. I appreciate it. All right, we got Rosa over here. It's a really cool, clean looking design. I do like it. Oh, look at this frog pond. This is proper use of frogs, like hopping around and, and doing their thing. This looks really good. I like that. Problem with iron over here, though. We are not collecting iron here. We have waste happening. All right, Rosa. 
Good job, though. The farm looks awesome. Thank you very much. Yeah, Lunar Sea Knight. Really cool, like clean looking aesthetic. Well, appreciate that, Lunar. It looks really good. I love the aesthetic design. So I got a short list here. I need to take a look at those and decide who the final winner is. I have come to a decision, and this one was really tough because there's so many good farms. We do have one winner, and I believe that winner is going to be Boldy. Hey, you are the ultimate winner. And this was not an easy decision, by the way. You had some very tough competition, but this is the one I had to keep coming back to. Tell me, what is it that you think made your farm so special? Well, maybe Fight Club, maybe the extra details, maybe the fact that they're one emerald trades. I love that you have so many functions built in. We have an iron farm. We actually are getting zombie drops from here. Those zombies are killing our iron golems faster, which helps our rates. They are giving discounts to our villagers. This is very functional. This is something I could see myself building in my own world, although it probably would not look anywhere near this good. I love the use of new blocks. And then I love the way that you've complemented those new blocks with all the blocks around them. Looks really cool. And you did make sure that you included frogs lots of frogs this whole thing it's really good moldy this is this is Thank totally you. awesome i'm gonna make sure i share this all okay. over the place because people need to see it congratulations this looks so Thank awesome you. job well done i appreciate it as you saw moldy was the winner all of your farms look really cool i know some of us got time crunched overall you all did a really great job i love the look of all these farms thank you so much for attending and participating i greatly appreciate it and look out for more fun events like this to come in the future thank you very much all right thank guys you. Bye. Bye. And there we have it. That was a super fun contest. I really liked it quite a lot. Everybody did such a good job. So many cool builds. Some of them are just like next level, especially to do everything like Moldy did in an hour and a half. Fully functional farm, zero issues with it at all, at least not that I can find. And it has all these cool different functions and it looks good and even is detailed. Hats off to everybody. I appreciate you all. Hopefully everybody out there, YouTube land, you enjoyed this video. If you do, do me a solid, click that like button so that way more people get to see it. Share this video with friends, recommend it to other people. Hit the subscribe button if you're not subscribed already and make that YouTube analytics work and go ahead and leave me a comment down below because that helps so much too also if you don't mind if you thought it was worth it if you had a lot of fun here go ahead and click that super thanks button down below as well and leave a super thanks on this video i'll be sure to respond to all of them and as many messages as i can but thank you so much for being here i appreciate it and hopefully we'll do more of these in the future bye